Just a quick one this week. Sophie and I have been working on the MR2, but we've ordered some parts and we're still waiting for them to arrive, so we haven't been able to finish that episode. So instead, I'm going to check the calibration of my torque wrench. Sounds wicked boring. Now I've had this torque wrench for about 10 years and it was cheap when I got it so I've no idea if it's still accurate or if it even was ever accurate. I'm going to try and test its accuracy with nothing more than a bench vise, a tape measure, some masking tape and a sharpie, a couple of dumbbell weights, some wire and a strong cup of tea, no sugar. So fair warning, there's going to be some maths involved. What I'm going to do is clamp the torque wrench in the vise and then hang some weights from it. I've already worked out that if I hang my 10 kilograms of weight 40 centimetres from the pivot point, it will exert just under 40 newton metres of downwards force. So I'm going to set the torque wrench to 40 newton metres, which means it shouldn't click with that much weight hung on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure 40 centimetres from the pivot point and mark it in tape. Next, I rigged up the wire so I could securely hold the weights. So now I'm going to clamp the torque wrench in at a 90 degree angle, ready to hang the weights from it. So like I said earlier, these weights hung at 40 centimetres should exert slightly less than 40 newtons of downward force. So with my torque wrench set at 40 newtons, there should be no click. I'm going to release it slowly so that I can pull it up again if it does click because I don't want to damage any mechanisms inside. So it clicked. So far, not good. So now I'm going to see where it stops clicking by winding up the torque a bit. So the wrench is now set to 50 newton meters, so this really shouldn't click. Well, no click at 50, so it's not ridiculously inaccurate. So now I'm going to try 45. down to 42. So yeah, it doesn't click at 42. So I've remeasured and set a new line for 30 newton meters just so I can check with a different torque setting. Let's see how this goes. Okay, no click at 30. So I can't dial it down to any less than 30, so instead I'm just going to move the weights out a bit to exert a little more force and see how far I have to go before it clicks. Make the noise! The phrase make the noise and all derivatives thereof are probably trademarks of Bad Obsession Motorsport Sunright Reserve. If you haven't already, be sure to check them out on YouTube for some professional quality tea drinking and occasional four-wheel drive mini building. 35 millimetres. So that extra 35 millimetres equates to another 2.8 newtons. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised by that result. For a cheap torque wrench that's probably about 10 years old, it's still accurate to about 5 or 10% which isn't bad, and I know the test wasn't the most scientific, but at least I know it's not wildly inaccurate and is still suitable for use. So that's it for today, thanks for watching!